Reliability is an important aspect of choosing a firearm. In fact, it's a pivotal factor that you shouldn't disregard. Otherwise, you'll end up with a gun that malfunctions from time to time, which is something that you don't want to experience during emergencies. Fortunately, reliability is almost synonymous with hammer-fired pistols. Unlike striker-fired guns, these hammer-fired guns are robust because of the simplicity of their construction. Few moving parts mean that these guns aren't susceptible to failure. But which of these hammer-fired pistols are the most reliable? What's up, everyone? This is your boy, Ted, from Line 45 Channel. In this video, I compiled a list of the most reliable hammer-fired guns you can purchase right now. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore. But these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Sig Sauer P226 The classic lines of Sig Sauer pistols are known for their reliability and durability. Of course, this doesn't mean that the new ones suck, but the quality of the classic Sig Sauer guns made the brand popular in the first place. One of these venerable guns is the P226. It is a hammer-fired, double-action, single-action pistol that spans a length of 7.7 .7 inches and 1.5 inches wide. It weighs roughly 34 ounces, while its barrel length is about 4.4 inches. The P226 has a lot of police and military history. Well, that isn't surprising, considering that the gun is reliable and accurate. I mean, the U.S. SEALs are known to rely on this pistol, so why can't we? Interestingly, it's available in different calibers, such as the 357 SIG, 40 SW, and the 9mm. Among them, the 9mm is considered the classic. There's a SIG accessory rail integrated into the P226 that lets you mount lights and lasers conveniently. This rail is on the underside of the gun's frame. The factory grips are just fine. Nothing spectacular, but they are comfortable to hold for long hours in the range. When picking a Sig Sauer P226, I highly recommend that you get the Nitron model. This one comes with Sig Light night sights and a 15 plus one round capacity. It is also available with different safeties, such as a safety intercept notch, trigger bar disconnector, and firing pin block. There's even a decocking lever, too. But if you are concerned with the trigger, I think the better P226 is the P226 Legion. The Legion features a stellar trigger quality. It breaks cleanly, doesn't have a lot of take-up, and offers a short reset. However, the double-action pull of the P226 Nitron is consistent, while its single action is delightfully crisp. HKP-30 One of the finest hammer fire pistols, and is also known for its reliability, is the HKP-30. Needless to say, this firearm is known among law enforcement agencies all over the world, but it's also a popular choice for civilian use. This double-action gun was released in 2006, and its design has inspired many other hammer-fired guns. It comes with an extremely comfortable stock grip. In fact, Comfortable is an understatement for how ergonomic this gun is. The finger grooves on the gun are among the rare ones that I actually like. Sorry, Glock. Its grip is fully textured, which I really appreciate. Another interesting feature of the gun is that it allows you to change its lateral grip plates. Not many have this capability. So, the P30 has two sets of lateral plates and two additional back straps. Chambered in 9mm, the P30 has a standard capacity of 15 plus 1 rounds, it has a length of 7.12 inches, a height of 5.43 inches, and a width of 1.37 inches. It weighs roughly 26 pounds with an empty mag. It has rather interesting controls, too. The magazine release is a paddle type and is placed at the rear of its trigger guard. This one is fully ambidextrous. The slide stop lever is also suitable for lefties. The reliability of P30 is definitely on point. It easily cycles different ammo, from 124-grain Federal Punch JHP and 115-grain LAX to the 115-grain Winchester White Box FMJ. No failures whatsoever, making this gun a foolproof option for a polymer-framed, hammer-fired gun. Its felt recoil is manageable, and its muzzle rise isn't that much. So when it comes to the accuracy department, this one doesn't suck at all. From 15 yards, I was able to manage two-inch groupings with this gun. It's consistent, and I am happy with its performance overall. Springfield XDE. The Springfield XD is a variant of the original XD pistol, but it's the most distinct, considering that it uses a hammer-fired operation. 
Before the XDE, the XD lineup was exclusive to striker-fired pistols. Apparently, the XDE was constructed to cater to customers who wish to use a high-quality, hammer-fired firearm. There are several unique features in the XDE that aren't present in its brothers. One of them is the adaptable trigger system. Specifically, this design allows you to carry the XDE in either a cocked and locked single-action mode or a conventional double-action mode. The XDE also has a decocking lever that works as a manual safety. This is the very feature that allows you to carry the gun in a single-action mode as safely as possible. Another integral feature present in the XDE pistol is its low-effort slide. Many shooters have mentioned that the slide of XD guns is difficult to cycle. On the other hand, the slide of the XDE is significantly easier to operate. Around 25 to 30% less force is needed to cycle the gun. Of course, the reliability of the Springfield XDE is non-negotiable. Fortunately, it did meet my expectations. It doesn't suffer from feeding issues or mechanical malfunctions. It can run different ammo, ranging from FMJ, plus P, and hollow points. Plus, it has a moderate recoil and a properly textured grip that ensures a superb shooting experience. Beretta 92FS. There are a lot of reasons why the Beretta 92FS is extremely popular. One of these is the fact that it is among the first Wonder 9s. At the same time, its stellar reputation is due to its wide adoption in the United States military. But of course, the real OGs know that the gun stood the test of time because of its reliability. This hammer-fired pistol is as reliable as it gets. Basically, it's just a pleasure to shoot this pistol. In fact, it's an excellent gun for beginners because it points naturally. The burly size and weight of the gun may seem a disadvantage at first, but then again, that feature tamed its recoil and muzzle rise. That means more accuracy and less discomfort. It's also a practical gun, as it's easy to control and allows you to get back on your target. In short, it's a very accurate pistol. The Beretta 92FS is known for its consistent performance regardless of the load you feed into its mag. Even if you utilize a 124 grain plus P ammo, the 92FS retains its controllability. It's not prone to failure either. I well, there are some notable points of argument about the Beretta 92FS. For example, its double action trigger is quite heavy and long, but at the same time, it's very smooth. Fortunately, the single action is downright impressive. It has a minimal take up and a little wall. Its reset is short for quick follow-ups. Combined with its easy to master ergonomics, it's not surprising that the Beretta 92FS did manage to impress many generations of shooters. CZ-75B Omega The CZ-75 is an all-time Czech classic, but until now it remains one of the most solid and reliable hammer-fired pistols on the market. Many CZ firearms were inspired by the CZ-75, directly implying how good this firearm is. Of course, it has an extensive history of military use. This double-action, chucked single-action pistol has witnessed several changes over the years. Right now, the CZ-75 you see are all CZ-75B. The B in the name stands for firing pin block. With a firing pin block, the gun is guaranteed to be safer to carry and operate. Meanwhile, the Omega distinction relates to its streamlined trigger system. Overall, its trigger is smoother and a lot safer to configure. The single action trigger is smooth and generates a clean break. With no wall on its break, the trigger becomes easier. The design of the CZ-75 is remarkable overall. When I say that this gun is comfortable to hold, I am not telling you that in a subjective sense. Objectively speaking, the gun offers a comfortable and secure grip regardless of who is holding it. The thin and ergonomic grip makes it a one-size-fits-all option. Plus, it's also worth noting that all of its controls are accessible. Your thumb can reach them easily, ensuring a fast, foolproof operation. Of course, I need to emphasize that its slide directly rides inside its frame rails. This is opposite to the conventional design of semi-auto pistols, where the slide rides outside the frame rails. What this means is that its bore axis has been lowered for a tighter lockup, leading to a more accurate and reliable shot. Furthermore, the CZ-75B is known for its flat shooting performance. It has a low recoil, and its muzzle rise is pretty minimal, thanks to its all-metal construction. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe. Care and stay safe.